Hello and welcome back to Room World. This is with Chibi and Sadie, and we are here today to play episode three for you. Do you want to help recap on where we're at? Let's see. Where we last left off is we put our animals in a small area so they would stop eating our actual growing medicine and stuff. Instead, they will eat the grass and everything in that little area. We will be, you know, growing hay for them at some point. Mm -hmm. That's our next thing to put in. Um, also, we just got the note saying that we have um, some raiders coming in up for here. That was coming in right as we exited last time. So here they are. They're going to work their way through the buffaloes and start wandering on over towards us. So I have our gun turned on. And Meg, where are you going? Cloud watching. Mm, raid incoming, let's go cloud watching. <laughs> oh, girly girl girl. We're going to prioritize constructing this wall, which is going to put her way past where everybody is coming. All right, people. Going to make them go, you know, work on that wall. Therefore, they are not in the middle of the uh, line of fire. Yep. So way over here, we have our questionable twosome. Okay, Josh is going to be working on this tunnel that we're pulling in through to this iron. Not a big deal. Uh, not yet a damn it Josh situation, but as we know, Josh. Damn, damn it. it, Josh. Yeah, you got it. We'll probably have to better put a gun up there at some point when we actually uh, build, you know, get the tunnel through. Mm -hmm. well, I'm thinking we'll put it right in this area here. Or these deer are currently running around. Those deer are a little concerning. You have to keep an eye on them because they will nibble on the crops. But if we can keep them handy as a source of food on that side and sort of wall them in here, I think that's going to be our plan. I, I think so too. And then we can tame them and, well, okay, deer really only have one use. Oh, they do. But food that you don't have to, uh, that doesn't fight back when you butcher it, it's a good use. Yep. Plus, you can always sell them off on the hoof, as it were. Because we are free-range, organically farming these things. <laughs> Just like real life. Oh, yeah. 20 pounds of, you know, of deer meat, 500 bucks. I'm going to get some notes. Oh, my God, you're a poacher. No, no, I'm not. I know. We do, however, have chickens and ducks on farms. Yeah. Um, they are adorable. And by adorable, I mean they drive us slightly nuts, but that's okay. Josh, where are you going? No, Josh. Josh. My damn it, Josh, come here. I'm going to make you do something. I'm going to make you come home. You too, Ben. Oh, my goodness. I love them. They're a little spastic today, though. <laughs> so let's just pull Ben back here. He doesn't have the good sense to not wander off in the woods. He's grounded for a little bit. I think there's a way to set it where uh, you can, you know, have people go back home to there, the home. There ought to be. There probably is. There probably is. I just, ha I really haven't sat down and played this game much outside of the, you know, the trial world we had set up before this. Mm -hmm. And what we learned there is that we are a little spastic. Let's see if there's something we can make Ben do around the house, keep him occupied. Mommy. That's right, Ben is our miner. Why don't we have him work on opening up this room a little bit? Yep. While we wait for them to come on down. That seems a good plan for you. Traders, come on down, eventually. Mm hmm like, they are the next contestants on... Did I get this right? <laughs> don't be silly, I always get this right. I'm so not getting this right. But that's okay. Um... Currently, everyone's just sort of derping around a little bit, but not too badly. It looks like they're getting ready for bed. Ben is petting his alpaca. Okay, tribes people are beginning their assault. So let's grab everybody here. Make sure to... There's only one Maggie. Oh, I uh, know. The world can only handle one. But if you double-click those bad boys, there we go. Then you can draft them. These two seem to be quite content to sit out here and shoot at my gun, which is headshotting now. It works fine for me. Headshot all you want. Alright, let's get everybody out here in 
finished taking care of him. And if he manages to damage the gun enough, it's gonna explode and kill him anyway. There we go. Then again, Maggie's probably shot Ime in the head again. Yeah, because that's what I meant. Alright, so that went nice. We're gonna double click to select them all, undraft them, and we're gonna go ahead and authorize the stuff that they dropped. Uh, we have one dead and one prisoner that we can be taken. So, Josh, why are you in the wrong bed? Damn it, Josh. Josh, you're Is not. one Marcus a medic? It is. And we're going to make this here our prisoner bed. And we're going to mark this bed down here as medical to get Josh sorted. Because he's adorable, but he's wrong. But he's a little wrong. He is, but that's okay. Because, damn it, Josh, that's your thing. We're going to go ahead and talk, capture Toxo. Toxo is our non-dead guy. Oh, look at that. That rabbit there. This rabbit. That bunny rabbit. Just went and stole that meal. Just, it was like, there's little stiffers. I got this. You know what happens to that little bunny? Well, it's well, Easter tomorrow. A little bunny Fufu was hopping to the garden. And then he met the hunter. <laughs> Exactly. Now we're gonna get hate mail. Oh my gosh. They're talking about bunnies. They're video game bunnies. It's okay. It's okay. Then again, somebody's probably gonna come and say, uh, digital bunnies have lives matter too. Oh, digital bunnies lives matter. That's, it will be on my Facebook feed tomorrow. I guarantee it. <laughs> To be fair, I'm pretty sure those digital bunnies' lives do matter. Because they're digital bunny moms. Okay, so we have our trade beacon set up right here. We're going to go ahead and drop in our trade station here and start doing some wheeling and dealing. Yeah, I think it's about time we do that. I mean, th there's some clothes that we don't need. Mm -hmm. And let's be honest, half of our people want to be nudist anyways. And it's a win-win situation. And if a pirate comes along, we will sell it. Yep, that's right. By it, I mean our prisoner. Yeah. Sure, it's going to make our people unhappy, but that will uh, pass over time. Uh, what's his stats? That's what I'm looking at right now. He is in camel hair travel wear. And he is ooh, good at cooking, good at medicine. Boy can cook. And he has a passion for the arts. Let's take a look at his health, though. Uh, gunshot from the turret. G gunshot from the turret three times. Yeah, that turret. Oh, he got knifed. Uh, <laughs> not horrid bad. He's mostly been all shot up. Uh, uh, I'm sure if we manage to patch him up, his stats will, he'll, you know, be willing to come up, come to our... As you say that, he gets an infection. We're going to go ahead and say okay. Let's see, are any of our medicine plants ready? Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll pull a few of these out. It's a little early, but he ain't going to get better without them. So, oh, we do have some medicine plants. Okay, let's take a look here. Amy, where are you going? Going for a walk. How about we doctor the... I don't want you to clean the blood. I want you to take care of the person. This game is still slightly derpy on the targeting because while I come in and I zoom on something, it wants to try to clean up the blood rather than take care of the prisoner, which not exactly what I told you to do here, game. That's okay. We can work with you. Not what I told you to do. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab him and we're going to bring him on back. Ime apparently is not a cleaner. No. Is Ime incapable of cleaning from labor? Let me pull this up. So when we look right here, do, 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 do. Yep, dumb labor. Unable to clean. He's the only one that 
doesn't want to do dumb labor. Yeah, well, and that's the trick is you got to balance out what they will and won't do. And Ime does not screw up. I, I relate because that is not my particular real life skill <laughs> at all. Seriously. Like, the food is good. You might want to wash your own plate. <laughs> Josh is taking the nap. In the dirt. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Josh. We now have an infection in our right arm, so let's see over here if we will. Hey, I, I know that feeling all too well. Oh, that Toxo's berserk rage has come to an end. Toxo, let's not go all berserk beyond people. We're going to be giving you cake, or... Alright, we're going to take out a couple of these pesky bunnies right here. A, because we could use meat. Actually, technically you're taking out two bunnies and two turtles. Bunny, 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 bunny turtle. turtle. Okay, you're taking out a turtle. Which is fine. Turtles will have eggs. But you need both a male and female to collect the eggs. Colin just needs treatment, maybe. Maybe. Do you seriously use the fire to a bunny? Oh, dear God. Ime, you hit the monkey. Ime, if you hit the alpaca, you're grounded. And you'll be a dead man walking. <sighs> he also hit the wind generator. Which, frankly, isn't doing as much good, but he killed my monkey. Oh. Yes, well, good the monkey is dead. Uh, he was monkey around anyway. Yeah, yeah monkeys, monkeys are, are not, not, at least I've not, not found a way to make them actually very useful. useful. You can, can sell them, them but um, unlike, unlike some of the other things, things like, like you can train these muffalo here, here, they'll give you milk. milk. You, you can, can train, train a dog, dog and, and they will rescue and fetch the big ones, the little carriers. But most of them just... Yeah, the regular smaller dogs are just attack. They seem to mostly be victims of friendly fire. Yeah. Which is not terribly friendly, people. Just saying. So I'm gonna come over here and take a quick check at our butcher table. Yep, the butcher table does let us handle all sorts of meat. That's an important thing. Because even though you might not want to eat your cousin Bob, your pets will. And not only the pets, but human meat and leather sell decently on the black market. Alright. Got some going on. Let's see now. Our cook. Who is our best cook? Do, 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 do. Goodness, I sing what I think. Alright. Let's get some prioritizing of the cooking going on here. Yep, hurry up and butcher so that we can cook. Get that meat into storage now. Let's take a look here. And they're going after more of the bunnies. There we go. So that's three bunnies and a turtle added to the soup pot. And we've got Josh cooking them up now. That'll be some people taking care of There we go. Bunnies are bunny. And we have our hay here grown in our uh, animal area. Our alpaca is Got a couple strawberries to nibble on and some hay, but we were trying to keep them out of the main crop area. Because lo and behold... And they would... they can come in and eat our medicine plants, and... That's not what we want. We actually want, you know... Food. Exactly. And medicine. Food and medicine, indeed. So, I just suggested this a little... This area here with our good meat can will be our primary finished goods. Storage yeah. So, clothes, weapons that are made, basically anything that can be manufactured can be put there for sale. Because that's what we want. 
We should keep that bow that one of the, uh, tra you know, raiders had. Yep, we got that up here. That's actually a good bow. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, what, a great bow in good condition? Yeah, let's take a look here. Maybe so far our best shooter, I think, but I'm done to double check. Vladimir's got some decent ones. Alright. Alright. Ben actually dropped his weapon last time he was sick, so we're gonna give him the Pila. Maggie is currently walking around with our shotgun, which is a normal quality, not bad. Yeah, a couple people have melee weapons. Yeah. Let's take a look real quick. What? Uh, actually, your shooting is almost as good as your shooting. Uh, raid. Raid. The, the second, second you start, start planning, planning something. Alright, what is in this? What have the fates brought for us this time? Yep. Gonna jump to that location. We have Lilith, the cowgirl, coming in. She's got a punch shotgun, but it's poor. And apparently she has been shot by Ben by four. Oh my gosh, her friend is named Squirrel. <laughs> Squirrel comes equipped with grenades. Oh, no. Seriously, Squirrel, what the heck? All right, we're going to come in here. And well, just... apparently it's a uh, male... You know. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. What the heck? That's his job, man. If you look, it, will, it says... It says to shove, and I guess he's going to be decent with them. Hopefully not. Yep. We're going to drag one more gun, and we're just going to quickly wire this in right here. I think they'll have just enough time to put this in, but that'll give us two guns, cover this front area a little bit better. I want to take a quick moment, figure out where all of our villages are. Here they are, and I'm going to tell them just to work on that gun for a sweet moment. Because... Gunter. Important. They are. Protect your second amendment here, people. You may? Okay. That's fine. You can go get one piece of steel. <laughs> I swear, the second raid starts, they're like, we're gonna go that way. Don't go that way. No, you need to go this way. Nope, I'm gonna go that way. Oh, oh good. Raid incoming, let's meditate. Ooh. Good lord, man. So I somehow don't think Toxo is ill again, so let's get him a quick doctor visit. Okay. Maggie's grabbing the zero gun, so she's probably getting ready to treat him, and that would be useful. That's her medicinal plants right here. That's your herb medicine. You're gonna want to grow that as soon as possible. Uh, I think we took about 10 minutes, but it was one of the first things. Josh, stop trying to mine. Get the gun ready. Alright, we're gonna bring him on back in here for a moment. Because we definitely want a little bit of room. Alright. Double click everybody. Nope, I'll pull all the way out. Double click everybody. There you go. You're gonna be drafting. I want you all right about here. Doing this, that leads them in far enough where they get into this gun. Yep, because they would not repair the other gun. Mm -hmm. Or not build it, but... That one is not yet connected to the power, so we're gonna bring it back to this one. And we're gonna have Ben, who has a melee weapon, turn that darn gun on. Ben, can we do that? We have to turn it on. There we go. I'm gonna back, back up, up a little for that frag grenade. That frag grenade is over here. See how that goes? That's not what we want. If we have to retreat and let the guns do the work, then we retreat and let the guns do the work. That's why we want to build these things. Yes, Ben. Move away from the grenades. 
Also, also armor pack. Yes. Alright, All right, we got, got one, one down. down. Squirrel, Squirrel is fleeing. Let him go. Yep. That's what I'm thinking. So, Lilith the Exile is dead. So we're gonna strip her clothes. We're gonna pick up her gun. And we're gonna go ahead and release all our people so they can get back to their work. Which apparently lets Lilith just rot on the front door. Side. To be fair, they are interrupted from their nap. So. So we are going to send Josh, and we're going to have him doctor Toxo over here, because Toxo needs a little care. Um, both Maggie and Amy got injured in that. They are in their beds currently, so we are going to go ahead and we are going to prioritize treating them. Essentially, everybody got a little bit of shrapnel on that one. Also, we did lose one gun, but the other one in the new front, Position is there, so we're gonna go with that. Do a little doctoring, make sure everything's okay. And we're gonna run over here and finish our treatments. So, what do you think we ought to do next? Um, not sure. I mean, yeah, we should actually build that gun and replace the one gun that just got exploded. That's reasonable. I'm going to patch everyone up real quick and we will work on that replacement gun. Because I really do feel better having two of them that overlap just enough to make sure that, you know, no surprises. We do not do surprises here. Right about there. That gives them a good kind of Venn diagram of gunshots. And then when this area here is finished up, we'll put a gun around there and. Yep, we'll put one off the solar panels going this way, and that'll protect this area. So we're going a little slow because I would prefer to be cautious in the beginning and actually build them up rather than having it go and miss. Oh, we got some infection coming in. Uh, ben has an infection in his torso. And he may have an infection, which would make sense. They took gunshot wounds. So, Josh, stop trying to sleep. You can, you're the last healthy person on your feet. You can take care of the others. Gonna have ourselves a little bit of food there. And then we're gonna prioritize taking care of everybody. Uh, really? Josh, did you just give up on life? He climbed out to the jump stockpile and laid down. <laughs> Damn it, Josh, stop it. Damn it, Josh, yeah, seriously. Great. Josh is too busy being an emo kid to like patch up his bleeding friends. I'm judging you. Alright, and where are we going off to? We are going for a walk. People dying of blood loss. Gone for a stroll. Oh, look, Ben. Well, no one Ben here was shot by me. Again. God dang it, maybe put some glasses on. Something. Good lord. I've never been like, hey, I'm going to shoot my friends today. Then probably have it coming. But then again, if she if she kills Ben, then would later have Spider Man come around. Yep. Scrubbing in a bit. Let's see if we can get. Yep, our potato plants are in fact ready to harvest, so we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we've got um, Maggie's cooking turned down a fair bit, her handling turned down, and her hunting turned down. 
we want her to grow. She's got the highest grow out of anybody. And so we're just gonna let her, you know, play in the garden for a while. Especially with all these potatoes ready. Yeah. We need to get the food going. Which, speaking of potatoes, we actually have a potato growing out in the back. Yep, that was, that was one, one that started growing little eyes last year. And, and the, the kids, kids took it outside, outside dropped, dropped it in the dirt, and, and now we've, we've got, got a potato, potato plant. There should be some onions in that plot of, uh, mm -hmm. area, too. Yep, yep last fall onions. And, and a cement. Yep, the mint is coming up. I was thinking some mint tea tomorrow. With our Easter dinner, ham, mint tea. And then Monday we make enchiladas. Monday we make enchiladas because we are awesome. Okay, because enchiladas are awesome. Yeah. I'm not really cool, cool, but enchiladas are awesome. I don't know, you're pretty cool at times. Aw, oh, thank you. I'll tell you the other times I'm a complete nut. But sometimes you're both kind of cool and kind of a nut, so it works itself out. Nutty and cool. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm ice cream. <laughs> I can live with that. Alright, so I think we're going to leave our little people here. It seems to be a little quiet bowl, and we'll let them kind of finish out that last bit. And we will pick up tomorrow. So, this is Sadie and, and Chibi Ace. And everybody made it through the night. So, we're going to go with it. We're going to go with it. We got, what, two raids and people die people having infections. Yep. Lots of hell people. Apparently, Josh is down with the sickness. <laughs> See you again, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.